All right, in today's video, we're going to talk about what is a fad diet and what does it mean if you are on a fad diet and some of the things you might want to consider before you decide to start a fad diet. If this is something that you are not really sure about and maybe something that you've heard about friends doing or something that you have considered doing um, or even if you've maybe tried it in the past it maybe worked for you for a short period of time but then you've had some negative rebound effects and um, today we're just going to talk about fad diets and a lot of the negatives that come along with them um, and my personal belief that you should stay well clear of them. So a fad diet is a diet that promises quick results in terms of quick fat loss to help you appear leaner and make you feel better by terms of losing weight. What actually happens when you enter into one of these diets is generally they cut your calories pretty aggressively. So a lot of the ones on the market will have you on six or 700 calories a day to begin. Um, and that incredible drop in calories is obviously going to make you lose weight. But what it's actually doing for the most part is just removing all the kind of water and stored water out of your body um, and doesn't actually achieve fat loss because nine times out of ten you cannot sustain that five, six, seven hundred calories a day for very long, um, which leads to periods of often binge eating or high, high calorie days, at maybe at the weekend or in a 10, 12 day cycle which then people eat so much food that they've put in double the amount of calories in their body than what they probably would have put in over a space of two to three days. Um, and they've actually had an incredibly high calorie surplus and then everything's wiped off. So other things that happen with this is they pull your calories down so, so quickly and reduce them so much so that then when you do start to eat again, your body has a bit of a negative response to that because your body's almost been in starvation mode, I like to think of it, on those low, low calories for whatever period of time you've been in that fad. And as soon as you try to move your body out of it, if you do that too quickly, your body's just gonna blow, you're just gonna have a lot of weight gain, that's the water coming back into your body and filling you out. And then because you've damaged your metabolic rate so much by having such a restriction for, sometimes people can do it for four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, you then have such a negative effect when you try to start eating food again and returning to a normal life because you go from this low, low calorie deficit to maybe a maintenance or a calorie surplus in such a short space of time and your body doesn't have time to find an energy balance and to bring the levels back to normal so that you can maintain that weight that you've worked so hard to get to. Fad diets are a marketing tool, they are a sales technique and they don't teach you anything about sustainable nutrition, they don't teach you anything about living a healthy, balanced lifestyle and they most certainly do not educate you on the foods that you need to be eating on a day-to-day -day basis to help your body fuel your body and help you target your energy needs me insane if I'm being perfectly honest because they are a means to quick results. They are not sustainable by any means and quite frankly people that go on them end up gaining more weight when they come off them. Full stop end of sentence. The amount of people that I have heard that oh my god I lost a stone on X diet and I'm like oh really so you kept that stone off? Oh no once I came off it I gained another two and a half stone. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You are now a stone and a half heavier than what you were before you started that diet. All because you wanted to look all right or feel all right for going on holiday. Now, I can empathize with the fact that you wanted to look good and feel good for going on holiday, but the fad diet is not the answer. You need to take responsibility and you need to stop buying into the bullshit that is fad diets. You need to eat food. It's as simply as that, you need to eat food at a lower level for a prolonged period of time. You need to work with someone one-to-one -one for a prolonged period of time to get in a sustainable fat loss zone and to sustain burning calories to create a calorie deficit for a long period of time. Like, I don't know how many times I stress this in different videos. If you 
check anything that I do on Instagram, Facebook or YouTube, you will see that it's all about good foods, proteins, calories in, calories out. You need to have an energy balance to begin with and then you need to slowly reduce the calories that are in your body at the end of every day to create a calorie deficit. And fad diets are just such a bullshit method of putting you into the absolute extreme of your body's capabilities, putting you into starvation mode. And they affect your hormones, they affect your mood, they make you feel like shit. And because of this whole placebo of you can see the scales dropping quickly, like, oh my God, I lost four or five pounds in a week. That's just water retention. That's not fat coming off your body. Like, if you were to eat a low number of calories and food, like just protein salads and have carbs one or two meals a day, like you would still get the same effect. You would just feel a lot better and you'd probably be having like 12, 1300 calories a day rather than six or 700. And yeah, it's going to take you longer to get to that end result. But when you get to that end result, it'll be worth it and you'll be able to stay with the weight off for much longer than what you can when you go on a fad diet. Like, honestly, there are so, so many in the market and it's, it pains me to see the amount of young girls or young mums that think, oh my God, society tells me I need to lose weight and I need to change my body shape, so I'm gonna try this latest fad and I'm just gonna do it for eight, 10 weeks and I'm gonna lose weight and then all of a sudden I'm gonna feel incredible and life is gonna be good again. And they don't actually realize that the amount of damage they are doing to their body in that space of time and they don't realize the negative effects that are gonna happen after when they then try to return to a normal life. And all of a sudden they've gained all this extra weight and they feel even shitter about themselves. Like, it's so terrifying to watch. It's horrendous that these things still have a place in the market. They do have a bad rep and more people need to be aware of the negative and damaging effects they do. Like, they are not a long-term solution and they are so far from realistic in terms of helping you live a healthy, happy life and in terms of you developing a positive relationship with food. Because if you have got a negative relationship with food, that's why you're in the current situation you're in. Let's face it, like it's because you have had something shitty growing up that's given you this bad relationship with chocolate or a bad relationship in your adult life that's turned into a binge eating or an under eating effect or... And this negative relationship with food that you've now got needs to be repaired. And it can only be repaired by you dealing with the issue that's brought on that negative issue, not by running to a fad diet, seeing some quick term results, thinking life is good and then falling straight back into your old habits and old ways. It's a vicious cycle, I get that. And it's hard to ask for help, I get that. I've been there. I struggled to ask for help for a long time in terms of trying to get my body to where I wanted it to be, in terms of trying to get my performance to where I wanted it to be. And the day that you finally ask for help and stop and look at the bigger picture and ask yourself, why the f am I doing what I'm doing? That is when you start to get the answers. That is when you start to form a positive relationship with food. And that is when you start to enjoy the food you're eating, achieve fat loss and sustain fat loss for a long period of time. Fad diets will never get you there, ever. You're literally pissing money up a wall. You will spend a fortune and you'll never learn anything. You'll never be able to sustain it and you'll end up feeling worse by the end of it. Like, I honestly, if that's the amount of people that do a fad diet and then have to do it again, I mean, that says it in itself. If you've done something and you need to do it again, then you've not, something's not went right in the first place because you should be able to sustain that. You shouldn't need to dip in and out of diets. You should find a routine that works for you and your body that you can just take through life that is your life and that shapes your mind, your thoughts, how you look, how you think and how you feel. Yeah, fad diets are bullshit.
they're absolute bullshit. And if you believe they work, the markers have got you. They've absolutely got you. And I just hope that when you have went through it and you come out the other side and things start to go a bit pear shape again and you realise that you can't maintain that weight loss and you can't sustain that that body that you're now in because you're hungry and you're gaining weight and you don't actually know what you're meant to be eating and you don't actually know how you're meant to be exercising. If that's you, you need to reach out, you need to ask for help. You need to speak to someone who's going to give you realistic advice and that's actually going to teach you how to live and how to be happy and how to manage food. Because unless you learn that, you're never going to break that cycle. And your value and your life is worth so much more than falling into the way of a fad diet and letting them brainwash you and make you think that they're good. Because they're not. They're just not. You need to invest in you. You need, need, need to take the time and you need to prioritise yourself and your life and your value and just find something that's going to work that you can sustain that's going to make you feel good that's that's it that's what you got to do um and you know what i'm here to help you you know i'm here to help you i don't need to tell you that you know where to find me you know i've got courses you know i've got clients you know i do one-to-one you know i'm about changing your mindset about how you think how you look how you feel and if you are ready to ask for help, and I mean real help, and you're not going to turn to a fad diet and expect results in two, three, four weeks, then, you know, maybe we should talk. Maybe we should work together. But if that doesn't sound like you, then you got to reflect on yourself. you got to reflect on what you really want, why you want it, and make that decision about why you're doing what you're doing. And then when you're ready you reach out. you got to do it for you though. There's no one else on this planet that's worth more than you.